Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for checking in. Today, I'm just sitting here at my house. Uh, my girlfriend and I are making split pea and ham soup. I just wanted to show off one of my newest purchases that I think will bring a little bit of new content and uh, depth to my channel. As you know, it's winter time here in Southern Ontario and we're starting to see more and more safe ice show up on bays and lakes. And that means ice fishing season. So with that being said, we went to Bass Pro Shops the other day for a bit of a day out and I decided to pull the trigger on the purchase of a new hut and today I wanted to show that off to you guys and give you a bit of a rundown of what I have intended for the upcoming ice fishing season and hopefully I'll be able to modify it a little bit to turn it into a winter hot tent as well for some winter time camping. Let's get to it the Otter Vortex Pro Resort and it is a triple layered thermal six to eight person hut as you can see in the description right there. One of the biggest reasons that I went with this hut is because it's got the easy exit full door and as you can see here uh, in the in the box it opens the door fully fully right down to the ice so that there's a lot, a lot less chance of tripping uh, when entering and exiting and that tends to be a common issue with a lot of the current huts that are out there uh, more and more are doing this this easy exit full door, but a lot of them still have the old triangle door. I'll just give you guys a quick glance at the, the dimensions here, try and get it so you can see it. I'm going to take a picture of this and I'll put it up in the corner of the video so you guys can see. 103 square feet and uh, we'll cover more of that in a little bit. This is everything that is included. Let's get this baby out of the box and get it set up. As you can see, I'm still in my living room, still got the Christmas tree set up behind me here. So that's gonna be all sorts of fun. Um, I think it's a good thing and a bad thing if it does take up in the entire living room, that'll give you an idea of just how big this thing is. Um, but hopefully I'll have enough room to get it set up in its entirety to show you some of the key features that I'm really excited to put to use this ice fishing season. And this is a 900 denier fabric bag. And my understanding is that the bottom of it, the bottom of it is reinforced uh, to make sure that when you're sliding it in the back of your truck into your toboggan across the ice, uh, that it's it's going to have added protection on the bottom of the bag to slide the hut inside of it as well, so that it doesn't wear through your canvas, your fabric prematurely, um, and hopefully that means that the bag will will last a long long time at least as long as the hut anyway and this is the the plastic that i was talking about for the reinforcement and then inside you're going to have your accessory pack and this is going to have all of your uh ice anchors all right you think it's gonna fit i think so yeah well i, I don't <laughs> well, okay I like the mesh already. I mean, we felt it very quickly at Bass Pro, but I just I like this uh, this thermal mesh. Is that good? To the hole. Yeah, you're good. Wow. This thing is huge! I told you it fit. <laughs> so, one of the nicest features about this is the full door opens up and it's got a rain flap up here as well to keep rain and slush from uh, accumulating on top of your zipper. Uh, it's got a Velcro tab, as most doors do, to be able to stow your door open and away. Um, I'll, I'll be very excited to see how that works in a little bit of wind, but it's, it's a pretty good patch. It's probably about three inches long and an inch and a half wide. Um, I'm six feet tall, and I mean, I, I can almost get under there without having to duck. And uh, as you can see, these, uh, these are the poles that I was telling you about a moment ago that uh, give rigidity to the, come on in Scouty, come in. No, okay. 
Uh, two very nice sized vent holes. If you want to swing around, you can get a, a better angle here. Yeah. There you go. Two nice sized vent holes. This is very, very important for keeping uh, carbon monoxide out of your hut, especially in the wintertime. Clayton Shield did a, a very, uh, very, very nice video demonstrating how carbon monoxide accumulates in these huts uh, with the sunflower style burner as well as the Mr. Heater Buddy uh, burners. And it's very important to keep a carbon monoxide detector in here with you because with carbon monoxide, you go to sleep and you just don't wake up. Um, you don't want to get carbon monoxide poisoning. The fabric is, is fantastic, beautiful stitching. Uh, I think this is actually like welded, welded stitching. Um, it's all thermal. Down here you've got a couple pockets all around. So one, two, three, four different pockets all around. And you've got 16 of these little, these are actually rod holders. You stick the butt end of the rod in and the rods will, will stick up like this. So there's four on uh, these two panels and four over here on these two panels. If you want to follow me down here, you'll notice that there's uh, a couple pre-cut out holes. There's one on this side and one on the opposite side over there for your uh, propane, for your hose to bring it in. If you're one of these people that wants maximum room in here to keep your propane tank outside. Uh, it also is uh, reducing the risk of any sort of unwanted combustion, obviously, of your propane. Okay, so inside of the hut, uh, obviously you've got your windows, which I think just about every hut comes with. Uh, I'm counting six windows all around your main door, and then you've got your triangle door on the opposite side as well. Uh, again, with most ice huts, you're going to notice that you've got this, um, this, this clear material. I, I don't know exactly what it's called. It's, it's, it's plastic regardless and it's, it's stitched with Velcro and this is removable as well. And I see a lot of people are using these holes uh, to modify with some sort of fiberglass cloth and to put stoves in these uh, and do winter camping uh, and, and make it a hot tent. And that's something that I hope to do uh, for down the way. I'll get some material, cut it out, try and get my hands on a sewing machine or borrow one stitch some velcro on there and pick one of these doors they're all the same so they're all interchangeable so if you take multiple plastic pieces off they really they can go anywhere uh, another thing if you want to step back a little bit we're going to look up so it comes standard with these uh these mesh nets there's two of them there's one here and there's one over here uh, this is fantastic for putting little things like your carbon monoxide detector. You want it up high because with the heat, the carbon monoxide is going to accumulate up high. Put your gloves up here, put your jacket up here to dry off. Uh, and there's also with the poles here, you can go kind of closer to the edges where it's going to be a little more stable. And I've seen guys hang uh, their, their bibs and stuff like that to, uh, to dry them out as they're sitting in here and enjoying themselves. There is a lot of room in here. I cannot get over the floor space. This takes up almost my entire living room. And what that means for us is I'm going to be able to get out with my kids. I'm going to be able to set up multiple cots in here. As you saw earlier, I was kneeling down on some of those foam pads that have become very, very popular over the last few years for people. They put down a grid. It keeps insulation in the hut, it keeps the water out of the hut, keeps your feet dry. People are stripping right down to their box, not boxers, but their, uh, their long johns and enjoying a nice, insulated, warm fishing or camping experience. It's a lot of fun. One of the biggest things that I, I was concerned about, but I wasn't entirely sure because when we were looking at this hut, it was at Bass Pro and they had a ton of boxes of other huts inside of it so it was difficult to get a really solid idea of just how much floor space there was <clears throat> so I got a measuring tape here and I'm it it's not a perfect like octagonal shape it's uh, it's slightly different and again I'll take a picture and of, of the measurements that they provide and I'll, I'll post it up top here up in the corner so uh, measuring tape and we're just going to go kind of from one straight wall over to the other straight wall and please keep in mind that the hut isn't pinned down the the legs aren't stretched out as, as wide as they could be follow over here so let's say we'll call that the back wall over there and we'll go up to the corner of the front wall here 
and that looks like it's about 138 centimeter or inches, excuse me, uh, which would be right around 11 and a half feet. And I think if you want to swing around this way, I'm going to go across over here from this edge. Approximately, again, things aren't pinned down, some of the skirts inside. From that edge over there to this edge over here, we're going to go and we're going to call that probably about 135 inches, which is just over 11 feet. So, um, most standard cots, I think they're right around um, six and a half feet ish. And if that's the case, that's fantastic. So, let's find six and a half feet here. Four. Uh, five, let's say there's six, there's 78 inches. I don't think it's going to be quite that much, but it looks as though you could pretty much put a cot there and you can put a cot there and probably another cot over where you're standing right there. Uh, so from what I'm looking at, I think safely you could fit probably three cots in here. Um, more than likely, excuse me, more than likely when I'm out here and I'm going to be doing some camping and stuff, it's going to be two cots. There's going to be a table for prep for, uh, putting our water on top of putting cookware, um, our camp stove, etc., etc. Um, and then underneath that we'll have like our cooler to store stuff that we don't want to, to go bad or spoil any fish that we decide to keep, which is not very often, but we, we do enjoy keeping a few walleye throughout the walleye season, the, the ice fishing season and uh, perch and crappie if we're frequent or fortunate enough to get into them. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a couple of cots and then uh, a table and just kind of whatever else. If, if it's a couple day trip, you know, probably a good idea to bring a little honey bucket with you, uh, to keep your, your waste and stuff taken care of, not making a mess out on the ice. And of course, going to have to get our hands on some more of those, uh, interlocking tiles for the floor, for the, for the, uh, insulation factor of it as the comfort it's just it's so nice it was such a good idea whoever whoever started thinking of doing that they, that was that was a pretty smart thing to do again guys this is my new otter lodge and uh, um, I'm, I'm really really looking forward to getting out on the ice once we've got some safe ice now that said safe ice a lot of people are anxious to get out there it's not safe yet there's some people that are those first ice guys I'm not a first ice guy. I'm a bigger boy. I weigh a little more than most and I don't want to be the guy that goes out there and finds out that the ice is not thick enough to support my weight. So be careful. Make sure you bring your spud with you. Spud frequently. Make sure you've got a long rope with you on your toboggan uh, to rescue, to pull yourself out, to pull somebody else out if need be. Have spikes on the bottom of your shoes, have picks in your hands to be able to pull yourself out as you've seen in Aaron Weeb's videos on uh, uncut angling, um, those sorts of things. These are life-saving precautions that everybody should take. I even know guys that wear a life preserver underneath of their ice gear just as extra flotation. Not everybody can afford to have uh, floating ice gear. Um, so with that said, guys, Leading into the ice season for 2022 and 2023, I want to wish you guys a lot of safety, success, and I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for checking it out. And if you if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. I'm really trying hard to grow my channel. I want to bring a lot of videos your guys' way in the next few months. Um, and and again, I hope it's quality content that you enjoy and you tell your friends about. Uh, and that's about it. So good luck out on the ice. Be safe and we'll talk to you guys soon.